So inside the Volcano Mount box right here, of course, you have your instruction manual uh, with everything that itself is included, all the parts included, the additional things that you'll need, and a handy guide of how to do everything. Um, outside of that, of course, you have the actual Volcano Mount itself. Um, just mount that bad boy up on their roof. It does come with the uh, included bolts, the, uh, the lag bolts, which is really, really nice to have. Um, you'll be able to screw those in there. Uh, it also, it does have this kind of like sealant putty stuff um, that you would be able to put in to try and keep it watertight, at least a little bit more. Uh, it does have some instructions on when and how to use all those. Officially, it's a sealing tape strip uh, that you would use. Um, but yeah, pretty easy to install. And then finally, you also are included some uh, cable management uh, screws to be able to route the wire along the roof as you would need it. And that's everything included inside the Starlink Volcano Mound. Should be pretty easy. Oh, I also did forget, it also did come with this really sweet bag. Um, so if you have to go up like a tall ladder, you can carry the Starlink dish up to the roof with this sweet bag, just like this handsome lad is doing. So here's everything you're gonna need for my edition of the Volcano Mount. Pretty similar to the way SpaceX does it. Um, also you're gonna need a drill and you're gonna need your 5 32nd um, bit. Uh, this will be the pilot holes for the lag bolts that are included. You will be using all six of those included. Uh, however, with the drill, we're also gonna be using uh, a one inch um, hex bolt, lag bolt header here. And that'll actually make it things a little bit easier. We won't have to use the socket wrench, which is um, recommended by SpaceX. We'll just use the actual uh, bit here, which will help quite a bit. Um, obviously the drill then. Um, and then instead of using the, um, uh, the material that's provided to fill some of the holes, um, you know, they, they call it, it's the ceiling tape strips here uh, inside the included kit. They probably work fine. I'm sure they're fine. Uh, but in my case, we're gonna be using, um, it's like, um, um, like flashing material, uh, roof repair, leak repair. Um, I think this will probably be overall uh, more resilient and just better overall. And this way you can really coat the holes and then coat the bolts over it on top as well to really make sure things are set. Um, so I prefer using this. I think this is probably the way to go. But again, I'm sure the stuff that's included is just fine. Uh, one thing of course to note is I wouldn't wear anything nice when you're doing this because this stuff gets really everywhere. It's really, really not pleasant. And of course, in order to use that, you will need the caulk gun as well. And of course, otherwise you will use uh, the included six lag bolts. Uh, we will definitely be using those. And of course, the volcano mount. However, notice my roof. It's not all this kind of crap wood. These are actually really solid wood boards across the entire roof. And so we're actually just gonna be punching right into this roof. Um, this will be good enough for our needs. As long as we're not doing it on this wood, we're doing it into the true boards, uh, we're gonna be golden. And so that's what we will be doing uh, in our case. But if you are on a typical roof, um, which is maybe not the best material, uh, yes, you will need the stud finder to find those cross beams uh, to easily do it the best. And this will be the first instance of do as I say, not as I do. Make sure you have a ladder that actually goes up to the roof. This isn't uh, the best idea. And of course, you want to make sure you're connected to your Starlink dish. And before you do anything, you're going to want to stow it. Beautiful. And of course, you're going to want to make sure it's powered off. First and foremost, we got to take the old dish off. All right, I got the dish off. Officially, uh, speaking, you would take your volcano mount here and you would match it up with studs that are sitting underneath. Um, however, the whole wood underneath my particular roof, it's thick wood. It's not like plywood, it's thick wood. So I don't have to worry about studs. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, drill my six pilot holes uh, with your five 32nd uh, drill bit, your pilot holes here. 
And then per the instructions, you would normally put in the, um, the putty that came with it. I personally am not a fan of that. I like to use like a patching material, a flashing material. I think that'll be a little bit more resilient. I'm sure Starlink knows what they're doing and you can still follow those instructions, putting those little balls, putting them in each hole and then punching the bolts through. Uh, but particularly, I think the flash material is probably gonna be the way to go. So we'll start doing our pilot holes right now. All right, so we got our pilot holes. Um, at this point in time, again, this is when you would normally use the things that came with it. I personally like this flashing material a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is in each of these holes here, I'm gonna drive in, drop this right on each of those holes. We got the flash material in each of our We'll start in a crisscross pattern. So here we go, we got each of the bolts in there. Again, we did the pilot hole with the 532 second bolt. We put a little flash material in there. Uh, we put the volcano mount overhead and then punched through each of our six holes. Again, I like the flashing material a little bit more, the sealant. Um, I think it's gonna work a little bit better than what they provided, but again, I'm sure it works just fine as well. Volcano mount obviously firmly secured right now. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in uh, the holes, the same material I just used to um, fix the holes from the old stand, and then we're gonna get our stomach unit back on there. Really try and let it fill that hole that we originally made. Now, we just put our Starlink unit back into its home. New home. Beautiful. Got a little slack, you don't want to make it really tight, you want to have a little bit of slack up here. Just like that. We got our dish back up, our volcano mount, firmly secured onto the roof, nice and sealed. And let's see how she fires up. 